Yo, what's up, Trackheads? It's D Brown with Trackheads. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Trackheads. So today we have a nice workout on the books. On paper, we have three times uh, 25 meter flies, 25 meter running. Then we have a 200 at 90 percent, another 200 at 90 percent with five minutes rest in between. Then we have four times 100s with three minutes rest in between, also at 90 percent. Um, this is a pretty good workout. This is the first uh, like truly hard workout that I had um, in the beginning of 2024, right? Getting my system, uh, you know, used to the rhythm. I'm going to be starting races probably in like the next month or so. So my, 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 uh, you know, so the purpose of this work, I just to get my body used to the stress, right? They call this like preseason workouts is to get my body used to the stress of the 200 and the 400. So today's a bit of a special endurance kind of workout, some race pace stuff, and it should be pretty fun. So this is the first 25 meter fly right so i'm using the first uh 25 meters to really make sure i build up to 90 and then the last uh 90 or excuse me the last 25 meters i'm really making sure i fly having better rhythm this is a slow down portion of this you can kind of see the angles and the rhythms of it you can even hear me snapping down with some force like i said in this portion i'm really trying to make sure i build up then when i hit that cone i'm focused on fast arms snapping down hard um really just popping off that ground that was the first one uh, i ran uh, i believe 591 this is the second one right and then I, as soon as i hit the cone i try and turn it over so i gave myself about two to three minutes rest in between of uh for these so like i said because the rest is so short it almost functions as like a speed endurance workout versus a pure speed you know it's like a mix of uh max velocity and speed endurance like a cross in between so it's the slow-mo version um, with the slow-mo definitely shows me a couple things i need to work on especially in, like in the acceleration portion of it but you know those are just small details that i will be working out as i continue to train this is the last one and the best one so like i said i'm, I'm making sure i'm applying a lot of force at the beginning and then as i get into the second portion of the fly i'm making sure i'm pushing and snapping and having fast arm action and making sure i'm nice and relaxed so that was 575 definitely not a bad time um you know for the situation like i said my main purpose is just to make sure i have good rhythm um then i go into the 200 the 200 was pretty cool right um my main focus for the 200 was like i said just to really make sure i burn you know and really be aggressive and push the first 60 settle into a rhythm and make sure i just hold that rhythm for the first 200 i'm not trying to sprint this full out i'm just trying to find my race rhythm of a typical 400 and also this provides uh this workout is a really good strength workout for a 200 so you know in this first 200 i run 24 4. i was very surprised with the time actually um because like i said you know it's my first hard workout of the new year um and the fact that it was 24 4 was a pretty you know impressed me i, I thought it was pretty cool i might give myself five minutes rest and i didn't feel any burn after that first one which was a good sign but I, as I was running this second 200, I started to feel a little bit of a burn probably after the first 100. Um, so I, like I said, I, as you can see, I'm able to push out. I'm able to stay super smooth, super uh, relaxed. And then as I hit this curve, um, you don't really see it too much, but my turnover does kind of slow down a bit. Um, you know, but I'm just trying my best just to work through it, stay smooth. And like I said, I, I had a little bit of burn on my legs, a little bit of lactate, but it wasn't enough to make me break form. My main focus is to make sure I stay uh, stay in rhythm. After that, I do the 100s. And the hardest thing about these 100s is when you're in a state of fatigue, it's pushing out, right? You're trying to build up momentum, stay smooth and stay relaxed all the way through the 100, which was really difficult <laughs> um, as I was running. Um, I was trying my best to stay relaxed and just make sure I have a good push. Uh, that first one was about 12.5. This second one, like i said i'm building into a rhythm uh it's about 12 i think like 75 or 12 8. um this is the third one and like i said the main focus is just to make sure i stay really 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 smooth and pushing out and staying aggressive and making sure i stay relaxed and mind you as as i'm going i just so i only have three minutes rest in between my legs are on fire right i'm getting a little bit of cramping in my calves but overall like i said really really quality workout you know, dealing with race pace at, at fatiguing states and just making sure I stay smooth and relaxed through the entire run. So I was really happy with these runs. Um, definitely a step in the right direction. And as you see, I was cooked. <laughs> I was such in a state of fatigue. So, yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. 
This is D Brown with Trackheads. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to hit me up um, in the comments. And also, you can subscribe to the channel below. This is D Brown with Trackheads. Peace.